Hello, everybody. Welcome to the company presentation from Lightlight. Lightlight is a company who produces uh, multi-mode step index fibers. My name is Karsten Geert. I'm working as sales and marketing manager for industrial business units, and I'm happy to get your questions uh, via mail or via phone after my talk. Um, so we produce our own multi-mode step index fibers. We draw our own fibers um, different, for different kinds of applications, uh, such as medical and industrial applications. I'm uh, representing here mainly industrial applications, such as fiber bundles, cables, uh, laser delivery systems, and uh, spectroscopy delivery systems, and many more. Company is based in Latvia. Um, was founded 2004 in Livani. It's a small city in the middle of Latvia and in former Soviet Union times there was a center of um, fiber optics in the Soviet Union was based there in Latvia. So there's a um, historical knowledge in fiber drawing. We have sales office in Germany, in Belarus, US and China. And uh, from there we can serve our local customers. Um, we draw fibers from 50 to 2000 microns, so we can really design the fibers according to customer needs. And uh, with our experience, we can really customize the product. Our production works according ISO 9001 and ISO 13485, so this is the medical certification. Here is the overview. As mentioned, um, the capital of Latvia is Riga, and then if you have to go two hours east, you're reaching Livani, which is a small city with approximately 6,000 inhabitants. Um, we are growing constantly in the last years, so currently we are approximately 25 million dollars turnover. Uh, main turnover is made in a medical business unit, where medical is more like mass production and industrial is more customized, small, um, small quantities, more specialized. What is unique for us, we have a vertically integrated production. So we are starting from engineering and design of fiber optic assemblies. Then uh, we uh, do own technology development if it's necessary for certain products. We draw on, on fibers with different uh, jacket materials and uh, currently uh, also um, constantly on the R&D process to improve the fiber quality and to get uh, new products. We have a big mechanical workshops where we do a lot of um, standard connectors like SMA, FC, or also customized connections for bundles ourselves. Um, we do cable and bundle assemblies and also medical production and uh, with medical assembly. Our products are custom made, such you, as you can see here, which is a very big slit bundle. Um, this was made once for spectroscopy, spectroscopy customer. So this is really something unique. Uh, we start from one piece production up to um, mid, big series production. So there's no, there's no limit. And usually, of course, all projects start with um, small quantities. Um, I want to go a little bit deeper into the, our bundle technology and especially the fuse bundle technology. So in terms you have a, you need a big cross section and a good flexibility. Um, it's very likely to use a bundle um, instead of a single fiber. Of course, there are single fibers with up to two millimeter diameter, but they are really stiff and you can't bend them. So that's why there are different technologies to, to bundle. The first is the glued bundle technology. It's a very simple technology. You could just glue fibers together. And of course, there are gaps between the fibers, which leads to losses. So this is a cost-effective solution, but from optical points, this is not an optimal. Um, later on, there was hexagon bundle technology, was hexagon fused bundle technology was developed which gives the opportunity to close these gaps between the fibers. So in the process, there's a capillary around the fibers and under pressure and heat, the fibers are pressed together and um, there's a honeycomb structure. 
This technology improves the transmission already by 15 to 20 percent compared to closed bundle technology. Um, light guide did further R&D on this bundle technology, and we had a request for applications with an A higher than 0 0.22. So 0 0.22 is usually the standard, um, but there was applications where it was needed a higher um, higher NA and a better transmission for higher NA. So we um, developed the clad fused bundle, which you can see here on the left side. Um, there is, um, it's similar to the fused bundle. So the fibers are like pressed together to this hexagonal structure. There are no gaps between the fibers. But additionally, there's also no silica tube around the fiber. On the hexagon, there's a silica tube around all fibers, but on the clad fuse, there's no silica tube. Instead, silica tube, we use silicone, and silicone improves NA even more. It has a lower refractive index than the clad class, and this gives a higher NA. Another further technology which we developed in this process was monolith fused panel, so MFB. In this case, there's not no fibers which are fused together. It's actually just bare um, fiber or core rods, small core rods, and that it's uh, like it looks like a solid glass block. You cannot distinguish between single fibers. In the glass fuse, there are still the fibers as acting as single um, transmitters of the light. But for the MFB bundle, there is uh, the light is guided inside all this area. Of course, after a few millimeters for each bundle type, then the, after, um, after the fused area, there are single fibers appears, uh, which, uh, which are guiding the light to the end of the bundle. All these different types of bundles, they show different um, properties in terms of transmission with respect of numerical, numerical aperture. So we, um, we evaluated the relative transmission of each bundle um, depending on the input NA. Of course, the bigger the NA, the lower is the transmission because the fibers, um, they have limited transmission for high, high NA. Um, we compared this with theoretical bundle with an ACU 0.37. So this shows very high transmission up to a 0.37. Um, the lowest transmission is of course shown by the glued bundle because there is gaps between the fibers which leads to losses. For the um, for applications with low NA below 0 0.2, you see that there is no big difference between hexagon, clad fused and monolith fused bundle. But for applications which ha have higher NA, you see that there are quite some advantage of the clad fused and the monolith fused bundle compared to the hexagon. This is because of this um, additional silicone layer, which improves the numerical aperture for higher applications. Um, you have to consider that for the, mon the monolith fuse bundle has actually a very good transmission, but this bundle is currently in kind of development stage and can be used only for low power densities. Um, what we wanted to show is that um, even if a lot of companies can do fused bundles, there's still some difference in fused bundles if you um, if you look at certain applications. Of course, for, for applications with small NA, you won't see the difference, but uh, if you have some special request which goes um, direction to illumination applications with high power, then we can really give a good advantage to standard fused bundles. Okay, let me shortly summarize. We can, we are really experts in bundle technology. We can customize your fiber bundles. Um, our um, uh, research is driven by the applications from our customers, um, which leads to better results, lower costs, and it gives a better product. And all in all, we can say that there's uh, even a few more points to optimize, which is the core cladding ratio for the fiber and also AR coating which could be also used to increase the transmission. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to see your questions.